Hello everyone, welcome to Onion Skin, and this is drawing in Toon Boom Studio with the Polyline tool, located here under the brush. Polyline is more well known as Illustrator's Pen Tool, if you've ever used anything like that. In the previous video, we looked at drawing using vector points with the rectangle, line, all that kind of thing. Drawing a shape and then manipulating it into a different shape. The polyline follows these similar rules, but will create a shape using one point at a time. Uh, like this. So you can see what I did there is just put dots down and it will draw a shape, uh, like it will connect the two points with a straight line. So dot, oh. Put one dot there, creates it there, 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 and close off your shape by rolling over the end. You see it gets a little circle on the pen, and it will connect it all up. Then you can go into your contour editor and manipulate it around and get it looking good, just as we did last time. So that all works well and good, but this pen goes, sorry, this pen, this tool goes so much deeper uh, than just that. If on the second point, we don't just put a dot, but we click and drag, you can see what's happening there. It starts pulling a line out or a curve out, uh, influenced by the direction of, of this handle that's coming out. And you see it pulls out uh, two handles of equal length um, and the curve will be pulled out from how long it is. You can see as we kind of turn it around there, you get the idea on what's happening. Uh, so you kind of move it around until it gets right. Oh, there we go. And then when you click on this next point, you see the curve has already been influenced by the handle before it, plus the new one. So you get all kinds of crazy and funky shapes. Uh, we don't want that on this second curve. Uh, we want it to eliminate this first handle here. Uh, so if you click on the red one, you see a little X appears, it will drop off that. Um, and now that line's completed, that's finished. So we can start a new one by uh, clicking right where the first one was, draw another curve, there you go, complete that, start another one. Oh, sometimes you need to pull the line a lot further than it will allow. <laughs> so undo that, there we go. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's better. Now this tool does take a lot of getting used to. I've seen many folk, you know, spend like the first couple of months using the pen tool or the polyline and it just blows their mind. Uh, they find it very, very frustrating and don't really like using it at all. Uh, but it seems to have a, a light bulb moment to it uh, when it suddenly clicks and you understand what it's doing. It becomes most people's favorite tool and they can't live without it. Some are even preferring to draw this way, like with the mouse or rather than drawing with the brush because you can get more control over your line and it looks much tidier as well. It can look a lot more professional than if it was done by freehand. Um, so you can make your drawing on a piece of paper, scan it in, trace over it with this, and then animate it from there. Um, but the applications are pretty extraordinary. There we go, all done. So you can see how that arm's been built. We had complete control over every single point that went down, and we can get that arm looking exactly the way we wanted. Uh, so have a go at finishing that off on your own, see how you do. 
And next time we'll be getting in on this arm using the pencil tool. This is the first freehand tool and I'll show you all about how that works next time.